Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Epcot for the International Festival of the Arts 2024. I am so excited because I love this festival. All of the food is so colorful and pretty and it's delicious too. So we're going to make our way around World Showcase, check out some of the art and get some food and just have an artsy Epcot kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. <laughs> Festival of the Arts goes on from January 12th to February 19th. It's not that long and of course we have to start our day with the uh, Festival Passport. The handy dandy Festival Passport. Festival of the Arts is the shortest festival here at Epcot and I feel like it's been growing a lot of popularity over the past couple of years and I think it has to do with the figment popcorn bucket. I feel like that generated so much buzz and interest. A lot of people have been giving it a shot because I feel like it gets overshadowed. You have uh, Epcot's Food and Wine Festival, Flower and Garden, Festival of the Holidays, and then Festival of the Arts. So a lot of people tend to come for Food and Wine and Flower and Garden, uh, but I kind of like it. And there's a lot to do and a lot of amazing food so I'm excited to share some of my favorites with you. One of my favorite things about Festival of the Arts is the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. That's a mouthful, isn't it? This is really cool because uh, it's kind of like a little game that you, if you complete it, you win a little prize. And uh, all you have to do is purchase any of the five menu items uh, from the different locations and get stamps. And in the back of your passport, they have them all listed right here. And once you get all of the stamps, you get a little prize at the end for completing the colorful cuisine walk and honestly i like almost all of these except for the beats bears beats battlestar galactica the wonderful walk of wonderful walk of <laughs> That is really a mouthful. The wonderful walk of colorful cuisine uh, is actually really fun to do. And uh, you don't need to get all five items. Like I said, you can get literally five of the same items and then uh, it still completes the book. Uh, but I actually like all of them and I like how they're all stationed to the front of the park. So it's something that you can easily do. And I think we're gonna do that now. We're actually gonna just real quickly uh, walk through the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. <laughs> We're going to make our way into World Showcase now and start doing the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. And I think we're going to start actually over in this direction. Normally, I always say start in Mexico first. But since we're doing this walk, I think we should go the opposite direction because that's the order of the menu items that we have to get uh, towards uh, France and the UK. I love sharing my experiences whenever I come to the festivals because it gives you guys an idea uh, in case you are planning on coming, you know, kind of a little strategy or tips. And one of my biggest tips that I can, like, or biggest, uh, pits of advice would be to not come on the weekends. I came here for opening day and it's like social hour whenever you come for an opening day festival. So you walk around and I was having a great time talking to some of my friends and just hanging out and I was like, you know what? I'm actually having a really great time. So I think maybe I'll just come back tomorrow and make a video. And that was a big mistake because tomorrow was the weekend and I came and it was Saturday and it was 10 times busier. The lines to get food were like 35 minutes and it was just, wow, I was like shocked. So that's like a big bit of advice. Avoid the weekends because that's where most of the locals come. And we went to Magic Kingdom instead and everything was a walk on. It was open till 11 p.m. And also I'll talk about that a little bit later on because I'd love to uh, give a little feedback, uh, especially if there's any content creators that watch my videos. and. Uh, it's actually something that uh, I feel like I, I can maybe give some advice and help out some people. So we'll talk about that later on. If you're just walking in the park, it only makes sense to stop at the deconstructed dish. If you are trying to do the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine, they have the key lime pie on there and it's $6.50 and it's deconstructed. So it's, it's, you have to put it to together. You have to, you have to reconstruct it basically. Uh, so I think we're going to get that and uh, start the, the wonderful walk. Got the key lime pie, but look at the BLT. And also they're making the fancy stuff right now. Look at that. Art in the making. Oh, and here comes the deconstructed mint julep. What is this? Yo! There's not many places to sit down and enjoy your food here. So I decided to come on over to the grassy knoll and just do it like a picnic style. 
Right on the grassy knoll. That's good too. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I mean, I kind of just want to eat the key lime pie now because I, I crave key lime pie and now I got to kind of build it together and it doesn't taste as good. But this right here, I am a big fan. I love it. It is so delicious. Minty fresh and I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do with that little thingy on top of the the cup there But another cup we can add to our collection too. Look at this. We're collecting them all We have to keep moving along, but I wanted to stop in the figments inspiration station This is where you can get that uh, figment premium popcorn bucket that I was talking about you know honestly I I'm not I mean I like it but I like the uh, the you know big figment one if you couldn't tell this is the building uh, that the ride is hosed uh, held in and figments inside there but I think I'm gonna skip out on this one this year we've got our official uh, I guess brush of paint on our palette uh, so four more to go but we're gonna move along and start making our way into world showcase the reason I said we should start at the deconstructed dish first is because that's located right here and then all of the other locations for the walk are actually in this direction going all the way to the United Kingdom where you get the uh, chorizo and potato empanada in the, uh, at the Encanto uh, stand. So uh, that's why we're going in that direction. Today has been nothing but cozy vibes. I absolutely love it. And it's like, like I said, night and day from the weekend. Today's Tuesday. Uh, it's like almost a whole week since the festival started. Uh, and I can't believe I've been here twice. I've been here no, three times now. I've been here three times now. Uh, and uh, this is the first video that you guys are seeing. And that's what I wanted to talk about maybe at the end of the video to like my fellow content creators and kind of just discuss opening day events and you know timing and trying to get a video out and stuff like that I would love to share my opinions on that so maybe it could help someone else out uh, but gotta keep moving along got a lot to do <laughs> like I said we're not just doing the colorful walk we're doing uh, some of the other stands too and I'm excited to come to the craft uh, craftsman's courtyard they got grilled pork belly and grilled marinated skirt steak they even have a coffee old-fashioned cocktail oh boy I think I'm gonna get something here I decided on getting the grilled pork belly and this looks really really good especially with the arugula on there too I think and a little bread it's like open face style and also the uh, coffee old-fashioned cold brew I think that looks really cool so yeah good start with some nice savory items the pork belly looks good but I think I want to go move over by the stage cuz uh, there's someone playing the saxophone and it sounds amazing do you remember the time I got my pork belly at Epcot. Cheers. I have been finding the coziest spots today. Honestly, like this is night and day. Like I mentioned before, I came opening day and it was very busy, but like it was a different type of busy. Like it was just like people like gathering around talking and you know what I mean? But when I came on Saturday, it was like line busy, like, you know, shoulder to shoulder, have to wait in the lines for a long time busy. So uh, yeah, this is a big change up. <laughs> As I come across some of the artwork that I think is really cool, I want to point it out to you guys. And of course, the Goofy movie caught my attention. My favorite thing about this is because they call it the perfect cast, uh, but I also love that Sasquatch is over there too. Alphabet Soup. Hi, Dad Soup. Isn't this so cool? Look at $150 for that. We made it to our next stop on the wonderful walk and we got the dessert trio. Look at this, very fancy. And now this is a stamp or a, a brush to our palette. It was $5.25. And it's kind of funny because once we complete uh, the uh, colorful cuisine walk, we actually have to come back to this booth uh, to claim our prize. We get to visit Deco Delight for your festival treat. It's that cookie and I think we get a fancy cup or something. 
when I was talking about the food at Festival of the Arts, I was explaining like everything's so colorful and bright and vibrant. I mean, I honestly, I feel like, you know, for a festival that's kind of based around art, I even think the quality is good. Like I honestly enjoy a lot of the things I get to try whenever I come here. Uh, so now we're gonna dive into this. And I'm, I'm kind of excited. This was a strawberry mousse, then they have a vanilla cheesecake, and then the chocolate one. So you get a little bit of everything. I think we'll just go one bite in a row. Oh, oh my lord, if I don't lose it. I almost dropped my mousse. <laughs> I almost dropped my mousse. Look at that. Oh, that's good. That's good, good, I like it. Now I'm moving to chocolate. Oh, the chocolate, it's got something inside. Look at that. You don't say. That's actually really good. Now, the cheesecake. The vanilla cheesecake. I actually like the chocolate one best. That's the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Up next, we got the Pop Eat stand. This is where they have the uh, grilled cheese and tomato soup in the fancy Pop Eats can. And that is a part of the walk itself. But I'm not a big grilled cheese fan. I do like some soup, so maybe I'll sip on some tomato soup and just show you guys the food. Uh, just so we can get our little uh, paintbrush. So we're trying to fill that palate, you know? Look at that. They actually cooked the grilled cheese up right there. And then you cut them there too? Oh! Fresh grilled cheese, come and get them. <laughs> Here is a look at the food. We got the uh, Rock the Dots white chocolate orange mousse. Look at this fanciness. This is a chiffon cake right here on the bottom, chiffon. And uh, I like the little artwork on there. And then we got the uh, tomato soup with uh, primito cheese, bacon, and fried green tomatoes all in there. This is the fancy grilled cheese. They got a regular one and then they got the fancy. Look at this cleanup system over here. I don't know how it's working though. They're probably picking up a lot of the food, but also making a lot of those white spots on the ground. <laughs> I don't know what to think. He's coming over here. Clean up on aisle uh, DVC. <laughs> up the DVC rental area. <laughs> The tomato soup was actually really delicious, but I don't know about the grilled cheese. You know, like I said, I can't really give you a good thought about it, but we did get our little paintbrush there, and I'm not too sure what I should do about the beet stand. I mean, I guess I could try them. I mean, I, don't, I mean, it won't hurt, but it just, I mean, oh, it makes sense because of the color. Beets, the red, wow. If you would have just seen the science that was happening in my brain, I was wondering why, why did they put beets on this, but I get it. I understand. <laughs> Look at that. There's the beats. I'm not going to get in line and get them because I don't think I'm going to like them. But I wanted to show you, and I think I'll get a double stamp somewhere else. But, yep, definitely the beats. I'm not about that beat life. I mean, I mean I'm sure I can eat it, but I'm saying why would I want to wait in line for something I probably wouldn't enjoy. So I'm glad I got to show you a little bit. Uh, and uh, I guess uh, maybe I'll just buy one extra uh, stamp or one extra, you know, swipe uh, of just the next item I get so I can fill the palette. I have some questions about this wonderful wok of colorful cuisine only because if you look at the colors on all of the menu items all you have to do is buy five and there's actually one two three four six different options so if you buy five you can get the prize so you don't have to get like every single one of these items but look down here they have the blueberry filled pastry tart that's inside the figment inspiration station but on here that is the completer festival treat so once you get these five all collected you have to go there and get this stamped so like what do you do when they want to get this and get this stamped where does that one go I've been so excited to wear this uh, Roosevelt shirt for this Festival of the Arts because I think it's so perfect. But look how beautiful it is. It's Fantasia. I love it so much. And I love how we got some Sorcerer Mickey Roosevelt's too. Uh, but uh, also how amazing, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of in shock, but how cool is it that I get to see some people wearing like my shirt in the parks today i've seen people wearing my shirt so if you anyone had got any of my shirts i just want to say thank you and let, i want you to know it's the highlight of my life just being able to see it actually like in the wild in, in, in the parks <laughs> look at this festival of the arts i can't believe it it's my shirt i can't even believe it look at that gracie's on there 
Wow, well thank you, man. I'm glad you like it. It looks great. It actually fits perfect. Yo. I appreciate that. You're awesome, dude. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a little interested in seeing what the uh, Disney Broadway is for tonight. We're going to be walking that way, so if we just happen to walk upon a show, I might just sit down and take a gander. But I don't even know. <laughs> I might sit down and take a gander. Sometimes I just stun myself with the way I talk. <laughs> that was one of those moments. One of the things I'm excited to eat, though, is the chorizo uh, and potato empanada over here. And this is why I decided to go in this direction, because now we're just going to do a whole entire lap all the way around. And uh, we've already finished the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. And here it is. This is the Encanto stand. This is where, you, uh, where we get our little uh, potato and chorizo empanada. I love this little booth, too. It's very festive. It's got the nice little banners over there, the good music, the fountain. Oh, it's very cozy. Look at it. It's even got a nice little queue, too. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine if every single festival layout was like this? Usually the line's all outside. And you don't know where you're standing. This is very well organized. It's got such a beautiful view. Can, can I get two stamps because I'm getting two of them? Sure. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna get two empanadas. I know, yes. Right? Double the stamps. <laughs> Here is the empanada, and because I bought two, I made up for my missed uh, little stamp there. Uh, and I, I don't want mine with any of the sauce on it, but I wanted to show you the one with all the sauce on it. Uh, it's got an aioli and a couple of other things. I'm here just for the potato and the uh, chorizo. I just hope it's not too spicy. Now it's time to dive into the empanada. Like I said, I like this a lot. And right now it feels so like, like beautifully buttery baked in a flaky crust. Buttery baked flaky crust. That's what it's like. So here we go. I love this empanada. It is so good. A little spicy. Oh, got a little kick to it. But I like it a lot and it's perfect. That empanada is probably gonna be uh, my favorite thing of this Festival of the Arts. I really do like it. Like I said, it's not too spicy and it's perfect uh, texture. Now, that's not always. Uh, one thing I have learned about uh, any of the festivals is there is a little consistency issue because, you know, sometimes when you're cooking so much volume of food, things can get a little too cooked or it couldn't sell fast enough and stuff like that. So, you know, I feel like any uh, like food item, when I taste it, it's got to be the best form for me to be like, okay, I don't like this, you know? Uh, but now we got to move along. We have enough of, we filled our palate. So by the time we get back over there, we can get our little treat. Honestly, these crowds are amazing. I do think we're going to actually check out one of the Disney Broadway shows because I don't think I have to wait for anything. I think we could just walk up. There's almost nobody here. This is like the perfect day. And look at that. I was afraid of a little rain, but we're going to have an amazing sunset. That's what we're going to get. Don't you see Spaceship Earth over there? Isn't she a beaut, Clark? It looks like uh, Disney on Broadway brought some of their stars from Beauty and the Beast and the Little Mermaid here. And uh, show times are 5.30, 6.45, and 8 p.m. Actually, it starts in like 5, or actually 25 minutes. Not a lot of people in there. You know, I'm gonna see if I have time to run to the uh, artist table, the uh, booth here in America, maybe to grab something and then uh, go watch the Broadway. You see if we can time it, got 20 minutes. Wow, I guess lucky for me, there's nobody in line at the American booth. Look at that, and I can get that hummingbird cake. Oh, or oh, duck and dumplings. They have a lot of good stuff here. Yeah, all right, this is great. This is such a great decision. Oh. <laughs> All right, here is a look at the duck and dumplings. Looks like it's a good portion of duck there, too. And uh, here is the hummingbird cake. I've always been a big fan of the hummingbird cake, and they switched it up this year. They added, like, a little cream cheese, like, topping there. And I hope I like it. I mean, I just love the cake on its own, and now they uh, changed it up. So we'll see how it goes. I think I'm going to eat the cake before the duck. <laughs> cake before the duck. Ooh, I thought that... This was like like a, a hot sauce, but it's not. It's actually really uh, hard to cut into. Like it thickens up pretty fast, but here we go, hummingbird cake. Maybe I gotta make sure I get a little of that pineapple, a little bit of the other sauce, everything in one bite. 
And I got this little pecan on top there. Pecan, pecan, little pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. Now I'm going all in on the duck. Duck and dumplings. The dumplings look pretty decent too. Maybe I should get a little bit of everything on one bite. Just like I just did. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I'll lose my duck. Is that a carrot? Oh, oh. All right, here we go. I absolutely love that duck. And I unfortunately don't like this as much as I used to. Only because I just like the cake on its own. I don't remember it was like a cold sauce that like hard and quick on it. I always remembered maybe like a hot sauce or something. Not hot sauce, but oh, you know, something that wasn't room temperature that kind of had like a shell, you know? But don't get it twisted because it is amazing. And the cake that I like so much is still in the center of that. So I am gonna probably finish all of this because I do love it. That might have been the most complex uh, little uh, review I've ever given. I don't know if people are gonna walk away wondering, did Nate like that or did he not like it? I don't know, I feel like that's how a lot of my uh, food reviews are. <laughs> I'm just eating food, you know how I be. <laughs> We timed that perfect. Honestly, I, uh, now we can actually just go uh, watch a little bit of that Broadway. I don't even know if we have to go in. I think we can literally just stand on the outside because like, there's hardly anyone in there, so today's the perfect day. Isn't this so nifty? I actually want to go back up to New York and go to see a real uh, Disney on Broadway. The only real Broadway show I've ever seen was Shucked. And it was the best thing I've ever seen. Shucked was amazing. So hopefully I'll get back up there. But until then, I get to see a little bit of it down here in Epcot. Well, yo, this is like, honestly, so amazing. He's come, sit down, no rushing around. I've been having the best day ever. Look at, <laughs> kick up, you know, just sit here. Nice little relaxing. About to listen into some Amazing Disney on Broadway concert series. Couldn't ask for more. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Poppins, Heidi Blickenstaff, and Gavin Lee. <laughs> just hopping in and being able to see a little bit of the Broadway uh, it's like nice that you know what I mean you can take a nice little casual pace and they were great Lumiere was perfect and also the Mary Poppins and the tapping I was all about that uh, but now I'm gonna keep moving along we're gonna make our way through Italy I've been having one of the best festival days like honestly this has been so relaxing and uh, just kind of like a, I'm just like loving it like you know the parks aren't crowded when you can really hear that back Epcot music. Every time I go into any of the different countries and you can hear the soundtrack, it always just makes me feel good. It always just makes me feel just like, ah, oh, I'm in World Showcase, you know? <laughs> I just wanna walk around. I don't think I'm gonna get much more to eat. I'm gonna check to see what they got. If they uh, got any nice little fancy treats, I might get something in Italy or Germany, but I still have to get my redemption. I gotta get my prize. Ooh, you know what? I love this little art booth over here. This one is so good. Look at this right here. Fancy. This is probably gonna be my favorite art from the festival right here. I kinda just like walked over and got kinda captivated. This is so beautiful, holy moly. Look at this piece right here. $2.95 on it, it's $350, but I would love that one right there, especially with the frame on it. I mean, this is so cozy. If there was anything like in there with the people mover, I'd be all about it. 
and also take a look at the uh, Mickey and Minnie artwork that are in the back here. Like this is everything to me. Holy moly. I am in love with every single one of these. I could buy uh, everything. I could put I could put every single look at the it's a small world one up there. $350 and you know you can buy the prints. They have different prints, but these ones look at eight of 295 and I, I got to talk to the artist and he's selling a lot of these look at the tiki one up here no way that one is amazing I'm not too sure what I should get probably in Germany because I haven't looked over any of the menu but I want something like a pretzel we made it down to the Germany uh, booth and they got a red wine braised short rib. I love this last year I had it, it was amazing. And then look at this, a black forest cake and they got like a little chantilly cream. I'm pretty sure I just messed whatever word that is. That maybe I did say it right, chantilly. Chantilly cream. And then the uh, chocolate mousse with morello. So I might get them both actually because it, it actually it looks really good. Now, like I said, I, we already finished our little palette. Uh, now I'm kind of just uh, having a little late lunch because I've been here kind of all day. Like, usually you're running around, but I've been taking a nice, slow, like, stride through a wool shawl case. And uh, it's been amazing. It's been very cozy and, yeah, getting to eat something. <laughs> I'm afraid I was uh, too early by saying I think the potato and chorizo empanada will be my favorite thing because I ended up getting the little frozen rosé, little fanciness, and then the black forest cake looks so good. Honestly, like it's not like it's so amazing. I can't wait to try this texture. I'm, I'm curious of what it's going to be like. And then I remember how amazing this was. And then look at this view. Look at us. This has been such a cozy snacking day. <laughs> Got a little frozen rosé pinky up. Ah. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Holy moly. Now we're going to try the short rib. Look at this short rib. Little mashed potatoes, everything in there. Oh, it just pulls right apart. Wow. This is the best thing at the festival. Now we gotta try the Black Forest uh, Cherry Cake. And this one, like I said, I'm, I'm kinda curious on what the texture is gonna be like. Germany. Germany, Germany's knocking it out of the park. Holy moly. Honestly, in a whole, I feel like uh, the Germany pavilion whatever stand that is uh, it has the best food and uh, like drink offerings I love that frozen frozen rosé now I love the old-fashioned before but it wasn't that good you know like it wasn't like that like I honestly I'm loving it but it's melting pretty quick there not long uh, it's not so much rosé it's uh, I don't know rosé runaway <laughs> melty rosé or could it be just rosé It's starting to get dark out, so I think we're gonna make our way uh, back to the front so we can redeem our prize. Our wonderful walk of world of colorful cuisine. The fact that I'm walking around and I just look over and see like how beautiful Spaceship Earth is all lit up. I am just loving this. Look at, oh, and we got some art even right here too. This has been such a cozy evening around Epcot's World Showcase. You're, honestly, I would never be able to experience any of this if I came and made my video like a couple of days ago. I'm sure it's a little bit funner and a, a little bit more kind of relaxed like than my normal videos. But let me know what do you guys think. I still feel like I personally enjoyed making this video. So I, whenever I feel that, I feel like maybe other people would enjoyed would would have enjoyed watching it. So uh, yeah, I, I, I think I'm just gonna kind of maybe take it a little bit slower anymore. It's time to redeem my prize. There we go. Hi, how are you? And here it is. 
my prize for completing the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. And uh, this is the little cup that I got. Look at it, it even says it. I'll never forget it. The wonderful world, wonderful walk, colorful, wonderful walk, colorful cuisine. You know, I, I wanna say the wonderful world of color, but I keep on saying the wonderful walk, like I, 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 I don't know why, I don't know why, but I'm gonna try it. Whenever you get one of these uh, pre-packaged cookies, I usually just take them home. But you know what? I'm claiming my prize today. I'm actually gonna eat this one and I'm excited because it's soft, it's not like hard. I thought it'd be cardboard the way it looked, but it actually looks kind of kind of enjoyable. So, cheers to the wonderful world, the wonderful walk, colorful cuisine. Now that we've gotten our wonderful walk of colorful cuisine complete, I think we're going to make our way back up to the front of the park and uh, maybe see if they have a new show on. And with that, I think we are done here today. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be cemented in my head. The wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. And uh, yeah, uh, time to go home, see little Gracie girl. Germany stole the show for me. I mean, the food there was impeccable. It was so good. There were so many other amazing things. And uh, yeah, gotta go see Gracie girl now though. It feels so different being able to walk out of Epcot like without the walls. It's been like so long. In fact, honestly, I don't remember Festival of the Arts before the walls were here. But we just walked right through there. That was, that's pretty amazing. And I love all the colors. Oh. Oh, it's getting really fancy lighting over here. Hey, how are ya? <laughs> I like to dance. Hey. Wow, this is so pretty. This must be a new show. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 happy, uh, happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this, it's actually really cool. Oh. Nice. Thank Thanks. you. Oh, uh, 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 Paige and Mr. Morrow. Yeah. Yes, I see you all the time. I love your party. Thank you. Have a great one. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Thanks. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, wow. This is cool. This must be all new. It's got all kinds of things. Of course, it's your key to unlock the human walkers. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. This lighting is amazing. I feel like I should take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Imagination, a dream. Wow. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. I love living so close to Disney, especially with these fireworks by your house. You go to the grocery store, you stop at the good old Publix, and then you get a beautiful fireworks show along with it. Isn't that amazing? Gracie, I heard you. What are you doing? Huh? You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk, Gracie? Huh? You wanna go for a walk, you? Oh, walkie, walkie. Gracie used to be afraid of the fireworks. Now she just gets used to them. It's just, I don't think she even notices, really. The fireworks are happening right over there. Gracie's right here. Wagging her butt, wagging her tail, I see ya. <laughs> 
And with that, we are done here today. I had so much fun at Festival of the Arts. It was so cozy, so relaxing. It was nice. You know, big change up to my normal videos. So please let me know what you guys think because like I said, uh, I know the opening day videos, you know, they're really fun because the atmosphere is, you know, energetic. Like the atmosphere, I love going to opening day events. I love just being there, seeing all of my friends, running into people that watch the videos. It's so good. I'm like a social butterfly though, so I'm very blessed to have that personality. You know what I mean? I love just being out there, interacting with people. I could do it all day. You know, I, I literally, I could go to Epcot and just walk around all day, hanging out, talking to people. And that's kind of what I did on opening day, actually. I got there for opening day and uh, I ran into a bunch of my friends. I uh, was talking to a bunch of people that watched the videos and just hearing stories and I love it. You know what I mean? It was great and uh, I remember we I got there for opening day it took me three hours to get into world showcase and then when I got there I was like I didn't even start making a video yet so I was just like you know what I'm like I'm really having a great time I love just being able to walk around and talk to people I think maybe I'll just come back tomorrow and obviously we know how that went I came back the next day it was Saturday and it was like 10 times busier so uh, you know it didn't work out but it would have worked out if it wasn't like a weekend the next day uh, the reason I wanted to talk about it is because you know I I, uh, you know, been doing these uh, YouTube videos for several years, and I've been at the opening day events every single year uh, for a while, and uh, it keeps getting busier and busier and busier. The lines keep on getting longer, and uh, I'm here for, I mean, I love it. It's like, you, you know, you start doing something. I remember at one time I used to walk around the festival, and there wasn't anybody really to hang out with. Now... On it, I get there and I see so many people that I'm just like, wow, what is it? like, you know, this is incredible. It's just a huge theme park with tons of people that share common interest and I like it. So I think maybe in the future, I might just go to opening day events and just mingle, just hang out, just, you know, do, you know, do, you know, me just kind of like be a social butterfly, talk to people, hang out and, and enjoy it. You know, I can make a video afterwards and this is uh, kind of something I was thinking about uh, and I'm testing it out on this video. You know, I want to see how this video is going to perform. Is it going to perform, you know, as good as the other videos? You know, I posted this six days after the festival started. And like I said, for years, I've been posting the, the day of or the next day. Uh, and you know, that's, that's the real life for content creators. It's actually a struggle uh, to turn around content. You know what I mean? Like, cause it's just like the news. Uh, if you want to look at it as that aspect, you wouldn't hold on to a video or a story or a blog post that is a hot trending topic. You know what I mean? You're going to want to get it out as soon as possible. And that's really good advice. Uh, me, I, you know, my channel has grown a lot and I've been doing it for a while and I've been blessed to be able to have this opportunity to find out what I really want to do in life. And you know, I, I want to spread happiness. I want to make people laugh. I want to entertain people. I want to bring joy to the world, legit. If I can sum it up in that factor and, you know, going to these opening day events and not worrying about having to make a video that day, uh, I like being able to socialize and be able to take in everything that I've been doing over the years and kind of have realizing, wow, like, this is great, you know? So uh, I'm gonna see how this video does and maybe in the future, I might not go to opening day events. I, well, I'll go to them, I, cause like I said, I love that atmosphere, but it won't be like a sense of urgency to make the video where else I can kind of just like relax because I started making these YouTube videos you know, because it was just something fun to do and then it grew into this amazing thing. But before that, I was just a guy at the park on opening day events. I wasn't making YouTube videos. I was walking around, checking out the new food, you know, <laughs> getting excited. Like before I made YouTube videos, I was going to opening day events because it, it's just fun. Like I said, it's busy, it's chaos, it's all like in together, but like for some reason, I thrive in that environment, but I can also, you know, like tone it down a little bit. So like, I, I'm very blessed to be able to have a bubbly personality and social butterfly uh, because, you know what I mean? I like it. And uh, 
going to the events, it's just reminding me how much I've, I loved it in the past. So we'll see how this video goes. And like I said, for my fellow content creators, it's a really cool thing to look at, you know, see how the video performs six days after. I'm sure, like I said, I know getting your video out quick, it really does help, you know, with YouTube and the algorithm. I don't know much about it. Like, I, like I said, I never wanted to like be a YouTube vlogger. So there wasn't like an instruction manual or anything like that. I kind of just went with the flow uh but you know i'm learning things now and you know we'll see how it goes i'm just really happy that i get to have these chances i'm like yo i have, I have such a great life i really do so i hope you enjoy the video and let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more of a you know opening day video or a more laid back video i like i said i'm good with both anywho's i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye